Hi, hello, welcome to Jalil Begum Academy channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to use switch or if if condition in MATLAB Samlink. Okay, for this, I will first take a switch block. Switch block. Okay. Uh, I will enable the name. Go to format, show block on. Okay. And for this, we have three inputs one, two, three. Okay. And uh, the second one, second input is the control input. If it is true, if this input is true, okay, it will take the, it will pass through the whatever value is present on the first input to the out. And if the second input is false, it will pass whatever value is present on the third input okay for this i will take a constant here constant source if you make it uh, one only okay i will make this uh, block on and i will take some signals here okay for example i will take sine wave sine wave on the first uh, we will give to do this 100 ok uh, make format block name on I will connect sine wave to the first input and for the second wave we can we will take square wave we will take square wave generator block Okay, I will take the magnitude as 150. We will enable this one as well. Right click format show block name on and I will connect this to the 3 input. And for the output, I will take scope to look at the waveform. Uh, we need only one port like this one port name on block on. Finally, we connect the output scope as well. In here, if you open the switch, we have three conditions. There is a threshold value and um, criteria for passing the first input. Okay. We have if um, U2, which is the second port, we can choose three options. One is the value of u2 is greater than or equal to threshold okay and the second one is u2 port 2 value is greater than threshold or port 2 value is not equal to zero okay these are the three condition we can select depending depending upon our requirement for this example i will show you we'll just take greater than threshold value okay i will choose this say apply okay now my one is greater than zero okay this is true now means it should take the value from sine wave sine wave should pass from here because the uh, condition on the port 2 is satisfied and it is true okay if this is if we take the value as zero here zero is greater than zero false it will take the value which is the square wave generator it will pass this value here okay uh, we'll check it now the condition is satisfied now we should see see a sine wave at the output here I will save it we'll run the simulation now okay we'll check the output graph yeah this is right we have a output sine wave because the condition is satisfied here this is similar to the this switch switch port is also we can make it as if condition okay if this is true execute uh, whatever value present on the port 1 to the output if this condition is false execute whatever value is on the port 3 okay this is true true value this condition is satisfied now next we will check i will change this control input to zero 
okay save it run again now we check the output yeah this condition is false now that's why it is taking whatever value on the port 3 okay which is the square wave we can see the square wave i have given the magnitude as 150 that's why we are seeing the whatever value present on the port 3 on here thank you very much for your time guys if you like this video please like share and subscribe for more interesting videos bye for now thank you